Good afternoon guys and what is going on? This is Eddie's Life. Today I want to talk to you guys about the tent on my truck. You guys keep asking me uh, what, you know, percent is it? Is it painted? No, it's not painted obviously. I drive the damn truck so no, it cannot be painted. So, and uh, a lot of you guys want to know the percentage of the windshield also. Before I tell you guys any of this, I, you're going to ask me, is it legal? Is it, is it illegal? I'm going to just get this out of the way right now. Uh, yes, it is illegal. Um, I, I, and that's depending on what state you're in. So I know in the state of California, you're not allowed to have tin on the windshield. And I believe you're not allowed to have any tint on the actual side window also. And what I mean by that is your driver and passenger, they don't want no tint on this window, but you can have it as dark as you want pretty much on you know, any other window in the back windows. And before I start this video on my truck, I just want to say one quick thing. I, I know you guys are commenting a lot and you want to see my cigars and, and this and what I do for a living and all these questions. I'm going to get to you guys, I promise. Um, it's just going to take some time, just give me a little bit. I'm gonna get to what I do for a living. I just want to put out some good content first. Um, you know, I don't want to bore you guys with what I do for a living right now. And I'm gonna do a cigar review. I'll I'm gonna do everything, I'm trying to do everything you guys are asking for, just bear with me here. Um, I'm just trying to get as much videos out as I can for you guys right away. And also, um, for those people out there that, you know, leave those bad comments, don't watch the video. You know, there's some of you guys that leave just some stupid comments out there. I just read them, I'm just like, don't watch it, you know, or if they say if it's too long, hey, well, guess what? They made this thing, it's pretty cool, it's called the fast forward button. And then they made this thing where I think there's an X up there. You can just hit the damn X. And you don't have to watch the video. Instead of leaving a stupid comment, don't watch the video. Now, let's talk about the Duramax and the tent. The windshield is 30%. Yes, I know it's pretty dark, but I don't really ever drive this thing at night. So it doesn't really bother me. And it's not that bad. You know, I can still see at night clear. Um, it's not like it's dark or blurry or anything. I'll see if I can show you guys. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be hard to probably tell on camera, but so here's uh, what it looks like, you know, just with no tent. And there's what it looks like with tent. I'm sure uh, it's gonna be hard to tell, like I said, on the camera, but it's not that bad. I drive perfectly fine. I don't have any issues uh, seeing at night with a windshield tinted. Now the sides are double limo and I will admit at night, even in the daytime it's hard to see. At night you can't see crap. It's pretty much black in here at nighttime. So if you guys are, I mean you know, if you do a lot of night driving, I wouldn't recommend these dark windows just because it makes it really difficult to see anything. So if if you're gonna do more, you know, daytime only, yeah, you can see it's nice because when, you know, you are driving and the sun is blasting you, you don't really feel it. It's pitch black in here, it's amazing, it stays cool. And also, I mainly did it like this because when I, I take this truck mainly to go to the desert, that's about it to tow. So all my kids sitting back here and watching TV, you know, it keeps the sun off them. But, how I and if you're wondering also on the back so what I did first was it's actually limo limo and 20% and the reason why I did that so as you guys know on the Duramax the factory tint that comes with these trucks is 20% the back and all these back windows come 20% so what I did was I left it here the 20 and then I had to put 20 up here so pretty much the whole truck was the same throughout. Then we had them limo everything, let that dry and put another layer of limo on it. So it is, five, it's 20% and limo limo. They here in California, or I don't know, maybe it's the same everywhere, but limo is considered 5%. I don't know if that's the same uh, where you guys, I know some tin guys say it's 3%. I've heard some say six, I've heard some say zero. Here, it's 5%. So it's 20%, 5%, 5%. Yes, it's very, very dark. I've been getting a lot of you guys telling me, Eddie, you need to get a drone, you need to get a drone, you need to get a drone. I know, I'm gonna get a drone. Actually, I got a drone. 
So I got, in today's video, I'm not going to talk about the drone. So I'm gonna just do a quick little, uh, little thing on it. It is the Inspire. I upgraded the camera. So the camera that it comes with is pretty much identical to this. The only difference on this camera is it can zoom. That's what I like about it. You can zoom in on this to get a better photo of you know whatever you're looking at. And then I put these little uh, lights on here. These really only work if you're about 40, 50 feet off the ground. Any higher than that, it, it doesn't work. Also, I had them swap out. So this is a range extender. It's supposed to be able to go crazy far. He says I can go four to five miles with it, but uh, he says that's the range I'll get, but he goes you won't be able to do that because of the battery He says you'll probably be able to go two three miles But you have to bring it back quickly because you're probably gonna be running low on battery and this is just uh, for my What do I put on this thing? I put my Samsung uh, my Samsung tablet goes on this I don't I don't remember which Samsung it is. I probably got it over here. I'll show you guys So this is the tablet I put on here It's I don't, I don't know what kind of Samsung tablet it is, but I put this one I got this one, also this Samsung tablet, but it's too big. Uh, he said he's going to, he's got a printer, so he's gonna make me a, print me out a, um, I don't know, a holder, whatever you wanna call it for it. And uh, he will, uh, I'll be able to put the big boy on there. But as of right now, that's pretty much the only one I have. She sits on there like that, got your on off button, you plug her in. Look at that guys, that was, that was my old, whoops. That was my old razor right there. What the heck happened here? Oh, okay, so this was like the first week I got my Duramax. She was bone stock. And this was my old 900. And this was the first week I got the truck, bone stock. Somebody asked me, did I build it or did I buy it like that from the dealership? Nope, this is how my Duramax came, bone stock. I bought a case, I bought four batteries total, three here, one in the drone, and some accessories. And I will, uh, I'll play with it and give you guys some footage. So there you guys go. Now you know what tint is on this truck. If you guys have any questions, you can leave down below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. But I do know that if you guys are going to tint the windshield, you have to be extremely careful. Uh, and this is what the tint guy told me. I don't know if it's true, but I'm sure it is. So on the windshield, there is a, because this has lane departure and all that stuff, there's a camera up there that is inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's that little cutout right there. One of the guys that tended one of these trucks, I guess when he was spraying in there, he sprayed the camera and ended up taking that camera out. The camera did not work and he said it ended up costing like a couple thousand dollars to fix. Thank God I don't have that problem. Uh, my guy did a good job on it. Don't have any issues with it, but that's one thing to be careful for is watch that front camera. Do not get that wet if you're going to tint the windshield. Also, I would highly recommend if you guys can spend the money um, or have the money, it's a little pricier, but I would stay with a, I think he told me it was a powder film. So they have different type of films where on this, when he tinted this truck, he showed me, he took a layer of film and it was on a piece of glass and he put a heat gun to it and he held the heat gun on there for about, I would say, 15 to 30 seconds. Then he told me, touch the back. I told him, hell no, it's gonna burn the crap out of me. He put his hand right on it, nothing. I mean, if you go to the river, or like sometimes we'll go to Lake Havasu, and I'll tow my boat out there, and it's 110 degrees, this truck stays cool inside. And, and I know you guys are probably like, no way, but this truck really, really does stay cool because of this film. So when you guys do tint your truck or, or car, or whatever you're tinting, don't go cheap on the film because you'll hate life. And this film is, I wanna say almost three years old. Almost three years old, and there's no fading on it. There's no, like, you know sometimes when you roll down the window on cars, you can see the original color, and then you can see how much years is faded. It's three, this truck is, I think, no, it's two and a half years old, almost three years old. She'll be three in August. So, and it's got the same original film. And every time I roll that window down, the color stays the same. Nothing has changed. I've never had bubbles, never had it turning purple, uh, never had any issues with this thing. So don't go cheap on film, guys. I'm begging you, just do it right the first time. If, and it's, if you can't afford it, that's fine. It's different. It's not a big deal. And you just need some tint, put it on there, slap it on, and just get it done and over. But, so there you guys have it. That is the tint that's on my truck. That is the percentage. 
Uh, that's everything you need to know on my tent. So if you still have any more questions about the tent, comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out as best as I can. If I don't respond to your comment right away, just give me a little bit. I will get to it. I promise you guys. Just trying to keep up with all the comments is hard. Thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe, the like, the comment, share, do it all. Peace. Yeah.